More people heading to D.C. tonight. Hundreds of thousands of demonstrators are expected to be part of the Women's March on Washington tomorrow. A lot of those folks will be from Alabama. CBS 42 News reporter Jamie Ostroff met with a big group as they left Birmingham, headed for the nation's capital. Jamie? Yep, Jim. Right after 6 p.m., a busload of 60 people left, or 50 people, excuse me, left Birmingham ready to march. And it was one of nine buses that left Alabama today, all for the same purpose. Hundreds of women from Alabama are going to Washington, D.C. this weekend to make a statement. We are women and we do not want to be degraded or violated and women have rights. I am female and I have a body and I want to control my own body. I'm a nasty woman. <laughs> Can't stand Donald Trump. Organizers of the Women's March on Washington's Alabama chapter were not expecting this many to show up. They'll be participating in what could be the biggest demonstration ever in response to an inauguration. Because it's important, I think, I think we're at a state in America where everyone's realizing that it's time for all hands to be on deck. But pithy signs and pink kitten hats aside. It stems back to uh, Mr. Trump saying he could grab women in certain areas and uh, so a lot of people are wearing pussy hats. There are safety concerns. I am very worried for my safety. Hundreds were arrested in D.C. during post-inaugural protests that took a turn for the worse. But this group is using strong conviction to power through the fear. I've heard they're already using tear gas and things like that, but you have to take a stand. You can't be silent in times like this. Now, because of those safety concerns, organizers tell us they will not give us any details about the itinerary while the group is in Washington. In the studio, Jamie Ostroff, CBS 42 News.